Chauncey Billups on the Portland Trailblazers? Yo, last episode, episode 16, I talked about how I lost to the Portland Trailblazers and it just really sucked and that obviously led to me practicing with Derek Favors. So I finally get my rematch against the Portland Trailblazers. We're playing at home now, so I feel like we have an advantage. We're up by six. Look at us playing big. Look at us playing big. Hands up, it doesn't matter. We're playing big too. So I'm really liking how it's going right now, but I'm telling you, First and foremost, I want you guys to get ready for some crazy cutscenes. This commentary is not going to be too long, because you're going to be seeing some crazy cutscenes. So, first and foremost, thank you guys so much for the support. I just want to hype you guys just a little bit for these cutscenes. The support I'm getting on this series is so much, and I know I say that a lot, but honestly, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Like, you guys are seriously amazing, taking it to the line right here. We're going to make our two free throws, but I'm going to end this video off very soon. So, before I do, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support. Also, if you guys want the next episode, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate all the likes. They really keep me going. All the awesome comments, all the feedback. It's seriously amazing and makes my day and makes me ready and motivated to keep on making more episodes. So without further ado, I'm going to end this commentary once again. Thumb up. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Here we go. Go into the line. Have a good one. Peace. One falls for the Trailblazers making a switch here. The Yo, did, did he just push Derek Favors? Yo, you can't do that to my boy, dude. Not Derek Favors. Both good from the line that time. And you see right there that he quickly jumped into the fray to show that he has his teammates back. Well, don't you think? See, that's how you build confidence. Are you serious, ref? You're going to eject me for that? Stepping up from a holy crap, it's a close game. All right, favors, I'm out. Make this free throw win this game. Let's go. Make this free throw win this game. Finish it off right here with these clutch free throws. Two for two. That's how it is. We win this game. The ref ejected me. I've never gotten that before. But kudos to 2K for even having something like that in this game. It's time for my press conference. Obviously, the press wants to talk to me about the ejection. Obviously, my GM. Everybody's going to want to talk to me about this. This is big. This is really big, guys. I'm telling you. An ejection off a game for a rookie? Let's see what happens. Don't forget a thumbs up once again for the next episode. Get ready for these cutscenes. Things are going to be pretty heated up. I'm defending Derek Favors, bro. He's been there with me since the beginning. What was going through your mind in that moment? I just felt like it got personal. And that ain't something I'm cool with. This is my team. And I gotta let people know when they cross certain lines. So I stepped in to let them know how I felt. And I guess the ref didn't like that. <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. I'd do it again in a heartbeat, man. That's just who I am. I'm sure you know why you're here. Listen, I understand why you did what you did. And I appreciate the fact that you're willing to stand up for a teammate like that. Thanks. Hold I, on. I really but... You can't let yourself get sucked into the drama on the court and wind up getting ejected. I know you're a young player and you don't have a lot of experience, but the league has zero tolerance for that stuff. In fact, I just got off the phone with the commissioner's office. You've been suspended for the next game and there's a small fine that goes along with it. What? S suspended? Wow. I did not see that coming, to tell you the truth. I mean... I saw what was going down out there. I couldn't just stand there and not do anything. Look, that foul is uncalled for. And nobody likes to see their best player taking a shot like that. But that stuff happens from time to time in the NBA. And when it does, I can't afford to be losing another player because he wants to be the hero. If it was for any single player, I would normally not care. I messed up. But for Derek Favors, I did the right thing. <laughs> Hold on. So let me get this straight. Our best player takes a cheap shot, and you want me to just stand there like nothing happened? No, 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 no. It's, it's not like that at all. I mean, it's fine to get fired up every now and then, but you have 
to know where to draw the line. Use that frustration to dial your game up a notch, but it doesn't do us any good to have you or any other player sitting there helpless in the locker room while we're out there yeah, trying to where, win a game. I, I see where you're coming from, but you gotta realize that when I'm out there, I'm putting everything I have on the court, okay? So I can't just stand there if something happens to one of my teammates and laugh it off. Of course not. And wait a minute, I appreciate that passion, I do. But you have to learn how to best use it to fuel your game and not your temper. So, are we on the same page now? No more of these situations moving forward. Yeah, we're on the same page now. No more of these situations. I'll let my game do the talking. <laughs> I love 2K, man. My guy is crazy. Thumb up for the next episode, guys. Take care. Peace.